morning guys how's it going uh, it is just past 6 a.m. and the, the whole house is awake and it's full of people because we're actually filming a commercial today I can't tell you what brand it's for yet and I can't tell you what product it's for but it's a product that I'm very passionate about so I'm really really excited for the opportunity we're actually gonna film some scenes this morning maybe you'll get to see some of the behind the scenes action of what's going on it's outside the norm of what we're used to on this channel but it's an exciting opportunity for myself and the family and uh, I hope that you guys enjoy kind of a, a little peek behind the curtain so here we go Tater, you having a fun time? Yeah. Yeah. Is this cool? Yeah. Yeah. We should go get a candy, huh? Yeah. You want a candy for doing yeah. a good job? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of candy? A sour one. A sour one? That sounds really good. So you're having a really fun time? What's your favorite so far? Sour, sour, The sour, sour, sour candy? <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go get one, okay? Okay. <laughs> gonna be doing that with like what we film so they're gonna put like you waking up then like you eating breakfast and you getting dressed so are you are you not having fun yeah why I said it's boring it's boring is it because you want to play your video games but, yeah. but are you a kid who gets to hang out with mommy and daddy and because that gets a video game <laughs> Yeah, so I think that's a pretty good job. Yeah. So Tucker just wants to play his video games right now, yeah. and uh, we're actually bribing him because if he does this right, he gets to go with me today to go buy a new video game for his Nintendo. And get some candy. And get some candy. Which they both had a lot of candy this morning. <laughs> we're gonna finish this and get the video game? Yeah. 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 Right. Are you gonna, show me how, show me how your fake smile, how you're like, look happy. Let me see, like, look happy and excited, be an actor. Yeah! <laughs> All right, well, let's see if we can finish this. What are you turkeys doing? Nothing. Nothing? What do you mean, nothing? What are we, are we filming today, guys? Yeah, and we're doing two ladle there. Oh. I don't wear back. Oh yeah? <laughs> Going on an adventure? Yeah! How's it going, Dad? It's good. We're just driving around uh, filming, kind of like what I do every video, but with a bigger crew. Whoa. Yeah. Well, nice transition. Is that what that is? Is that your, that is that your transition? <laughs> Look at all those double slug bugs! I'm filming it. I don't want them. I don't want them. Slug bugs, 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 our second location is we're going up Angeles Crest Highway and we're going to Buckhorn Camping Ground. Sure. I think that's no the name idea. of it, Buckhorn. So the whole premise now is we're supposed to be uh, camping, which is something that we've always wanted to do. And on our way up here, there's a whole like fleet of old school VW buses or VW vans. Double slug bugs. Uh, and, and we've always called them double slug bugs. You get multiple points, you know, because you have a VW Beetle and then there's a VW bus. That's just always that's been something we've played as a family. Guys, that's, that's two points. Yeah, but that's 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 <laughs> our thing that we've done as a family for a yeah. long time. Now we're about to go up the windy roads of Angeles Crest with uh, Captain Carsick over here <laughs> in the co-pilot seat, and we still have like an hour to go. So we're going to be on Angeles Crest for an hour. Yes. But I wanted to ask you a question real quick. The lease on this car, the 
This is a Mercedes GLC 300 that we've had for uh, three, three, three years. years, two year, two and a half years now, and the lease is coming up in March. Obviously, the Expedition is gone, and we still need an SUV with you know with some room to carry the kids and maybe you know go on trips and stuff. Is there anything in particular that that you that you want? Like, what are you, what are you what are you looking for in your next car, babe? What do I, uh, well, I need more room because the boys are getting big. You're, you're getting too big for your car seat, so you get too big for the back seat. So I want more space. Also, like when we have friends ride with us, when your family or my family comes to town, we all can't fit in here anymore. So I need a bigger SUV. So three rows. Yes, three rows. Okay. And then I want, this is a silly thing, but a lot of the SUVs don't have good airflow in the back. So that's important to me to have good like air Yeah, because we, so we had a Ford Escape, uh, Several years ago, yeah, and crash. no, I'm not. I'm not oh, crashing. I'm a, I'm I'm a so great candy driver. I'm a so great candy driver. So we had a Ford Escape uh, back when Tucker was first born, and it had zero airflow in the back. And whenever so we would nice. get him out of his car seat, he was always just so sweaty, mm -hmm. even when we had air conditioning blasting. So good airflow in the in the back is is always a plus. What else? Other things that I want, like I want, I like the nice luxury interior like I don't want it to feel just Bill, like stock I I'd like it to be comfortable because oh, I'm in the yeah. car all the time yeah. so okay so something a little more luxurious little inside luxurious and comfortable inside. yeah just comfortable especially when I take like long road trips up to like Oregon like I want to be comfortable okay two more things I mean obviously it's like high safety ratings that's uh, probably should be number one right actually like the highest safety ratings um, with good reviews and then easy to drive because some some of the bigger SUVs, I never liked driving SUVs because a lot of them felt like boats. So something that is comfortable to drive around and not just like for long road trips, but if I have to park in the city and stuff, I need to be able to. So basically, drive. you want me to get an expedition again? <laughs> well, one one that doesn't have engine problems. Yeah, one that doesn't have problems. Yeah. I was thinking of a couple of a couple of different cars. One being the Kia Telluride. Telluride, Telluride, Teletubby ride. I don't know. I, don't, yeah. I think that that's a. I think it's a great car. It's I always felt like Kias, and I'm like way like uneducated on this. But I feel like when Kias came out, they were like really inexpensive, kind of. I don't know, cheap cars. And I know that's like a bad thing to think. That's yeah. kind of what I thought. So I don't know. And I think that that's the thing about... is they've they've stepped up their game with the Telluride, the the Stinger. Yeah, they're still they're still facing like the Kia, you know, Kia curse. The Kia curse. Yeah, the lower the lower <laughs> level reputation. Uh -huh. But as as time has gone, they've gotten like more luxurious you with the SUV. See these roads. I'm totally gonna throw. <laughs> the Telluride has a good like adventure look to it. Three rows. It's luxurious inside is comfortable I don't know about the safety rating so would you know have to look at that the other things that I was thinking about was maybe you know something like um, like a cheap Grand Cherokee maybe a Dodge Durango maybe a Ford Explorer I would love to put you in the the Rivian R1S I'd love to do that but I don't think that those will be out quite yet yeah everything you're saying is just like it's just like, <laughs> babe, we will get you the perfect car. The channel here will help yes, they help will. us find the perfect one for mommy. Hopefully by February we'll have one picked out, lined up, and ready to go. And it looks like they're stopped right here. Nope. I don't know what's going on right here. Road construction. Hey, Baba. Where are we going? Yeah. Go see your friends. You gonna film a commercial? Yeah. Yeah.
coming around that turn just past Big Tahunga Road and uh, we, we saw the Nissan. It was like completely, completely destroyed. Um, so, so we turned around and we went and stopped to check to make sure that the guy was okay. And I thought that he had just wrecked, but he's actually been there for like four hours because he hasn't had any service or anything to get in touch with anybody uh, because you know that there's just no cell phone service up here on Angeles Crest Highway. But he said a few people have stopped. He's given them numbers. He actually walked up here uh, to find service at one point and he got in touch with some family members and he's just trying to get insurance to come up here and uh, check out the car. But I, I, I don't know what happened. He probably was just driving too fast and came around the corner and the tread on his tires looked like it was non-existent and I guess he lost control and just wiped out. But I hope the guy's okay. We got some numbers and we're gonna call up here when we get service. And we uh, left him with some water. Yeah, we let Tammy left him with some water because she's thoughtful like that. Uh, but yeah, so we still have like 30 more minutes of driving on this before we get to our location. So yeah, so it's been adventurous nonetheless. One, two, three. Oh, that was it. That's Hidden Springs. <laughs> we just missed our turn. Turn around, Daddy. Pointed at me, I'm gonna jump off. Here we go. I did it. You did it? Let's see. Yeah, I wanna see it. We sure got tool. You guys look like a couple of troublemakers. <laughs> Strong. <laughs> okay guys, so we made it here to the Buckhorn Campgrounds and Tate is still asleep. Tammy and Tucker, they are ad adventuring on an adventure trying to find different little creek creatures. And uh, oh, sea swamp stator. monster, I get away, it's what did a you swamp find? monster. A sea status. Sea skaters? Yeah. That's what they told. They're called sea skaters, the water bugs? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sea skaters. Sure. You learn something new every day. So, uh, yeah, I think we need to start getting ready so that we can start shooting uh, this commercial. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, Tuck? No, I want to no? climb up there. Okay. <laughs> okay, go climb up there. Oh, you better put your shoe back on. Uh -oh. Lost your shoe. No, I'm videoing me carrying you on my back through this creek. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Going to the sun. Look, Tate. So, come here. Okay. Whoa. Watch for the tree. Oh, almost hit the tree. Okay, we're coming in. It's time to go. Wave at it, guys. Uh, we'll see them. You see it? Wave, Tate! <laughs> and that's 
it for today. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. I really appreciate it. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, do all those amazing things that we do here on YouTube. And until our next trip, go see the sunset. Peace. Say bye to the camera. Bye camera. <laughs>